I'm Felix Delbrook. The Reserve Bank's almost certain to start raising its cash rate at its monetary policy statement next Thursday. It came close to saying as much back in January, and the case is really as strong as ever. Last week, we spoke about the fact that the dairy industry is expecting a record high payout this season, which will be worth billions of dollars to the economy. This week, we got an update on what the construction industry has been doing. Now, building activity in the December quarter wasn't quite as strong as we'd expected. In fact, it fell about 1%. We think that's largely a matter of timing. There's now a big backlog of consented activity waiting in the wings, which we think will progressively come through this year. But importantly for the Reserve Bank, it's no longer just about the construction industry or the dairy industry for that matter. Across the board, we've seen a really noticeable rise in business confidence. And businesses aren't just more confident. A growing number of them are saying that they expect stronger economic growth to translate into rising prices. So I think a rate rise next Thursday is close to a done deal. The only real question is how many more rate increases will the Reserve Bank signal? We think they'll signal about 125 basis points. That's one and a quarter percentage points worth of rate rises in total this year. That's more or less what markets are expecting, maybe a little bit higher. So we don't think there'll be much of a market reaction on the day if everything goes as planned. For borrowers, what this means is that while we expect floating rates to progressively rise over the, over the coming year, we think that's been more or less baked into where fixed rates already are at the moment. Put it another way, over the next few years, we think that the cost of staying on floating is going to be roughly the same as the cost of moving to fixed. Of course, you might still want to move to fixed now for the added peace of mind. Have a good week.